I sat ringside for WWE Money in the Bank weekend in London, and I'm going to take you with me every step of the way, starting with Friday Night Smackdown. It was an epic episode of Smackdown and got you really hyped for Money in the Bank, so without any further, let's get into it. So currently sat at my home in Cardiff, about to head to London, Money in the Bank weekend, Smackdown tonight, Money in the Bank tomorrow, cannot wait, it's going to be one hell of a weekend, especially sit in second row for both shows as well. It's gonna be awesome. Also gonna get an event here, sitting in second row. We do have this one over here already from, uh, from Clash of the Castle last year. So we'll get another one of these to add to the collection. It's gonna have a new friend to sit with it. And yeah, can't wait, so let's get into it. So here we are heading to the train station and that right there is the train and here we are leaving Cardiff. Goodbye Cardiff, see you in a little, little bit of AEW fight forever on the train and we have arrived in London. So just outside the venue here, you can already see there's tons of people, WWE signs everywhere. There we have Seth and Finn, loads of billboards and stuff on the wall here. WWE absolutely plastered over London outside the arena and inside the venue as well. Look what we have here. The queue to get into the venue was absolutely massive. Look how long that is, but I got to skip it with O2 priority. Look at all those suckers queuing. And that view, as you walk into the arena i absolutely love this when you get to walk in for the first time take it all in see the ring and see the setup making my way over to the seats i can't believe how close to the ring we were sat this is where i was sat and that's where the ring is had an amazing amazing view starting off with a little dark match to get us going and we have the oc gallows and anderson up against the lwo LWO win and after the match everyone shakes hands because hey we're all baby faces here and we're all friends. Huge pop here for this legend, well deserved Michael Cole, ha, I love it Maggle. And an even bigger pop for this guy right here, Wade Barrett of course, the hometown hero, UK's very own, a fantastic wrestler during his time too, so big pop for him. We heard about the sad passing of Droz as well, RIP to him. He's gonna puke! And then it's showtime. We're kicking the show off with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, the tag team champions. These guys are so over right now, it's unreal, Sammy especially. I make absolutely no apologies for that singing there. I was there at WrestleMania 39 when they won the titles. I just absolutely love these guys. And then out come the competitors for the evening. Pretty deadly look at that disco ball there. They didn't really get a warm hometown reception like Wade Barrett did. Of course, these guys from the UK, they are uh, pretty despised heels on the roster though. Overall, I'd say this was a really fun match, a really great match to start the night uh, and get us going. KO hits the swan turn bomb. And the hot tag then to Sami Zayn, you know it's about to pop off. Yeah! <laughs> 
great opener. These two are an awesome tag team. Awesome, awesome tag team champions. And that's more that can be said for this guy, the United States Champion Austin Theory, making his way down to the ring. Not really a fan of this guy. And so his opponent was going to be Ridge Holland of the Brawling Roots. Probably the worst member of the Brawling Roots, if we're being completely honest. But he's a hometown boy, so he got a big pop from the crowd. But ultimately, this match ends with Austin Fury picking up the win. I can't say I was too surprised at that, to be honest. And now we know that Fury is a heel. He is a bad guy, so he goes for the post-match beatdown. Huge roar from the crowd. Who is it? It's Sheamus. He is here to make the save. He doesn't quite get it, but he does scare Fury away, much to my delight. Now, the UK fans absolutely love Bailey, so you can imagine just how delighted they were when the next match, when we get Bailey in a singles match against Shotzi. Just wait for the bell to ring and listen to that crowd. One of the most anticipated segments from this episode of SmackDown was this right here. The Grayson Waller effect featuring special guest Logan Paul. Huge pop when this happened. We already knew LA Knight was going to invade it, but when it did, the crowd went off. So a load of the Money in the Bank competitors come down to the ring, a massive brawl ensues, and this really gets you hyped for the ladder match the next night.
The bell rang and this turned into some kind of match, but to be honest, I was too busy booing Logan because he was stood right there. Yeah. Absolutely love to see Butch picking up the win in front of the hometown crowd. Something that's absolutely crazy to me is this guy right here, Pete Dunn, he used to run a promotion in my hometown of Cardiff. So before he got signed to WWE, I've seen him wrestle so many times in front of like 100 people, 200 people, stuff like that. And now to see him featured so prominently in one of the main matches on the WWE Premium Live event, it's just absolutely crazy. Really is a testament to how talented this guy is. So yeah, really, really happy he got this moment. It was really cool to see him climbing the ladder. You're getting his hands on the briefcase as well. If only he actually uh, was money in the bank, that would be pretty cool. But yeah, awesome moment for Butch. And do you know what this video needs more of? Because I do. I think we need more Charlotte Flair. Well, luckily she's on her way to the ring right now. So we're gonna get a women's title match, Asuka versus Charlotte. And to be honest, this was a nice surprise because I thought this was on the pay-per-view. And we have a special guest joining us because about three or four seats over, it's Bianca Belair. The EST obviously wanted to get herself a front row seat and who can blame her because this match was a banger. And you just know with Bianca sat there, it's an absolute recipe for disaster. This is not going to end well. And yep, right on cue, there it is.
And then it's time for the main event segment, making his way to the ring, the reigning, defending, undisputed universal WWE champion, the tribal chief, the head of the table, the big dog, Roman Reigns, and also Paul Heyman and Solis Kerr. Roman has a really great entrance, but it does go on for about 10 minutes or so. This was a really great segment and it got me so, so hyped for the Bloodline Civil War match the next night. So the Uso standing tall at the end of SmackDown, but would this be the site at the end of Money in the Bank? Well, we're going to have to find out. So after SmackDown went off the air, we had a dark match, and I was treated to see one of my goats of all time, AJ Styles. This was a singles match, AJ Styles against Karrion Cross. It was kind of cool to see Karrion Cross and Scarlett's entrance in real life. But that being said, I feel like this entrance definitely looks cooler on TV. I think the camera work does a lot for it. Keep listening to hear me make the best joke ever. Don't tell him what you're gonna do, he'll counter it. <laughs> and sure enough, he did. So a pretty decent match, I mean it was nothing to write home about, just your standard dark match. I was just glad to see AJ Styles wrestle. And then we have another dark match, this is the last match of the night as we see Rey Mysterio taking on Austin Theory. The crowd were all over Fairy in this one. They would not let him hear the end of it. It was actually quite funny.
<laughs> this was one of my personal highlights as well. Fairy arguing with the crowd, trying to tell them that he wasn't a wanker. Now watch me channel my inner Kevin Dunn with these camera shots. So Rey Mysterio picks up the win, but the best part comes after the match as he joins in on the chants. And on the way out of the show, bumped into friend of a channel, Simon Miller. Alright, so I'm at the train station, ready to head back to where I'm staying tonight after SmackDown. What a show. That was absolutely incredible. Uh, the best, I've only been to one SmackDown and one Raw before, I've decided WrestleMania 39. That was so much better than both of them. That bloodline segment was great. The Grayson Waller effect, uh, where he had Logan Paul. And then also um, seeing Butch get that huge pop as well, that was absolutely incredible. Um, and that match as well was really good, like had a lot of fun. Um, over like the, um, the Charlotte Flair versus Asuka match as well was really good. And when Bianca came in waving the ticket around, she was sat like three or four seats away from where I was sat. Like this, that was such a cool show. I had such a great time there. The tickets to sit in the second row were pretty pricey. Oh, that's another thing I'll talk about. The tickets I was gonna, uh, like when I booked the tickets, where they were on the map was a different place to where they actually were. So I thought I was second row, but like second row as far across over as you can go. So like, you know, think where the hard cam is, like fifth row across there, but actually it was the other way around. So I was like right over, right behind where Michael Cole was. So I had an absolutely incredible seat. And also, the people in the front row, the people in the front row behind where Michael Cole was, I was actually sat further forward than they were because um, there's like a gap between the commentary desk and where they sit, and where they sit. So yeah, it had an absolutely amazing, amazing seat. So like I was saying, the seats were pretty expensive. But it's so, so worth it. And it's gonna be worth it tomorrow night for Money in the Bank. I cannot wait for that Bloodline Civil War match. Two ladder matches, Money in the Bank. It's gonna be incredible. I cannot wait as well to see the commemorative cheer. That was one of the big parts of sitting second row. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. So that's gonna do it for the SmackDown section of this blog. I hope you guys have liked it. Be sure to check out Money in the Bank because it gets absolutely wild. Thanks again for watching, take care and I'll catch you next time.